Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one of my favorite types of videos. It's an unboxing and it's of course from one of my favorite sites online, Fashion File. So the item that is in this box is something that I was watching on their website for literally three months. And if you aren't very familiar with Fashion File or how it works, they'll put up an item for sale and then every month they will discount it by 10%. So after one month, if the item doesn't sell, it gets discounted 10%. After two months, it becomes 20%. Three months, 30%. And then actually, they start to do deep discounts beyond the 30%, but to be honest with you, I am not very familiar with how they do that. It is outlined on their website because I think at that point it can reach um, a discount daily. So I have never followed an item long enough to see it go into that beyond 30% discount range and how that really pans out. And a lot of times the items that I want sell before then, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess maybe saves my, saves my wallet a little nick in its balance. So this item popped up, like I said, about three months ago, and I just kind of put it in my mind that if it reaches the 30% discount, I would grab it and see if I liked it. Cause the price that it was being sold at initially, as well as at its price, if it were to have gone down 10 or 20% was still a little more than I'd like. 30% brought it well below retail for me. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to snap it at that point if it reached that particular discount and it did. So I grabbed it. I have not looked in here per usual. I like to do an authentic unboxing. So my reaction is in real time. And like I said, absolutely authentic. The website had this particular item listed as excellent with some scratches on the hardware. So I did see those pictured and in the photos, obviously they have a light glaring right at that point. So they were noticeable in the photo, but then in other images, you couldn't see anything. So I figured when it came to the scratches, that was kind of going to be a my call type of a decision, just how it is in person for me. And that was all they listed really as any flaws, but being the nitpicker and meticulous examiner of photos that I am, there were a couple things that stood out to me that were of concern that um, led me to call Fashion Files, speak with the shopper and mention, hey, you know, I'm noticing X, Y, Z in the photos as well. You know, can you give me your thoughts? And when all was said and done, I basically felt again that if it reached that 30% discount, I'd grab it, bring it home, assess those points of concern, which I will name one by one once I officially unbox it and let you know my thoughts at least with my first impression. And by the end, I'll maybe hopefully have an idea of whether or not I'm going to keep it. I think probably once I get off camera, I'll need to assess it a little more, let it simmer in my head a little more, give it a day or two. But um, this isn't a for sure keeper. We're gonna find out now what I think about it. So let's just jump right in. So per usual, they've got their beautiful confetti, the nail file that they include, which has confetti sticking all over it right here. Oh, look at that with the little confettis at the end there. So that, and we've got the cards, Let me, the confetti sticking to them today. So the thank you card with their fashion file logo, their promotion of the collaboration with Neiman, all that good stuff. And then this, as we know, is just got my uh, copy of the purchase receipt, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to bother opening it. You know, it's just paperwork because we really want to get into the uh, the item of the hour. So with my favorite saying used as the new new, it's actually a lot bigger of a sticker than the ones I've gotten in the past such a good, I, every time I unbox something from Fashion File, I say how much I love that saying. And yeah. So have you thought about it? I didn't really uh, disclose what I purchased in my thumbnail. So do you have any ideas as to what designer it may be? If you know me, you probably know the brand that I've been gravitating toward as of late. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, the beautiful stunning, timeless, classic, amazing, and expensive Chanel. <laughs> so over here, we've got their barcode from Fashion File. My light is just glaring right on it, so you can't even read, but 
I guess maybe we don't want you to read so you don't figure out exactly what's in there. This item also was listed online as having everything, obviously boxes you saw right here, the dust bag and the authenticity card. So we will make sure to check all those boxes. Sure enough, there it is, dust bag, beautiful dust bag. Um, and then there, this remove the tag and own the bag. Well, it wasn't attached. You saw, I just, I just showed you, it wasn't attached in their tag. So we shall see. Over here, we've got the care cards. straighten those out in there. I'm guessing the authenticity card might be in the actual small leather good. And then they included the tissue that I guess this came with. Ooh, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I, you can see it says Chanel, maybe a little bit right there. Yeah. The little details. Okay. So the only thing that's outstanding right now is the authenticity card. So I'm assuming it is in here. Even though it came with a dust bag of its own, they always include their own fashion file dust bag. So, all right. Okay. Mm, let's see, are we gonna like it? I can see the color and so can you. Ah, I love it. This is the Chanel 19C Bubblegum Pink extra large card holder <sighs> okay now we're going to take a moment and let me observe there are some scratches yes to the hardware but it's not awful it's to be expected the thing that i noticed in the photos that i addressed with the woman that i spoke with on fashion file were the corners the photos that they took of the corners looked a little dark which in my mind felt that equated to dirt. So I asked her about it. She said it wasn't anything that really stood out to her. So let's see, what do I think? No, I don't see anything. I think it was just the lighting in the photo. It looks good to me. Yeah, I don't see anything. And the other thing that caught my eye again in the image, and this is, again, I'm telling you I'm nitpicky, um, is the area right here. Uh, which of course I bet you it's not gonna focus. Um, but long story short, it just looked like I could see some white to the leather, like almost like that piece of leather there wasn't cut really well, so it looked a little rough. And again, she said she didn't think it was that bad and it really isn't. That's the thing I like about Fashion File, you know, they almost make it seem worse than it is so that when you do receive the item, you're pleasantly surprised at its condition. And um, yes, that's where I stand right now, pleasantly surprised. So, um, yeah, I mean, and this is truly, this is bubblegum pink, Barbie pink, whatever you want to call it. This is pink. I mean, whatever you would like, yeah, Barbie, bubblegum, yeah, those are the best adjectives or words to describe this particular color. It's gorgeous. And now the last thing that was a concern of mine for this card holder was on the inside. The photos made it look like there were scratch marks, which if you have nails, you're gonna kind of cause some scratch marks on the inside. Something like that really, unless it was super duper noticeable, isn't gonna bother me because obviously that's gonna happen and it's on the inside, who cares? You know, I'd rather have something like that that can be overlooked versus some glaring exterior physical flaw. So let's see the inside. And also we're still waiting on the authenticity card. So I'm guessing it's in here. Yep, there she is. The beautiful authenticity card. It's a 27 series. And you know, part of the reason that this particular item is a little special to me, when I went to Paris last year, this is when that uh, collection was released, 19C. And while I was there, I didn't purchase anything, but I saw this color everywhere. And naturally being someone who loves pink, it stood out to me, but I just wasn't in the market to be making that kind of a purchase at that time, unfortunately. But you know, it's found its way to me. And another reason that this is special, aside from the fact that I really, really, really love uh, the XL card holder, if you saw my previous video doing a review on the black one that I have, you'll know that I am obsessed with this piece, um, is that the XL card holder is not available in the US. They just started actually releasing this particular piece, the XL card holder, I think last season, 19, uh, no, that was 19 Z. Uh, was it 19K? 19B, there it is. How long did that take? For my brain to adjust i'm pretty sure yeah 19b that's when they actually released the xl card holder in the us 
The only difference though in the one that they released, and actually it was just a design change in general with the card holders, the beautiful Mona Lisa pocket that you see right here, which I personally prefer, I love. I mean, it's just, it looks like the classic flap bags in the back. It just, I think it's just a, a very unique and uh, very Chanel-esque detail. The new card holders uh, just feature a piece of leather straight across. There is no, um, you know, Mona Lisa pocket design really anymore. There is a little bit of a dip in the actual leather for that back pocket, but it really, it, it blends in with the back. So you kind of lose this, in my opinion, very nice and special detail. The perk from what I've heard others say with that new design is that it allows you to put larger flat cards or items in there. Obviously this is limiting to just a card sized card to go in here. So, you know, I guess different strokes, but I personally love this. So I'm really happy to have acquired this color, not only for the sentimental reason that it was something I saw when I was on vacation last year and, you know, really caught my eye and was something I wish I could have purchased at the time, but didn't, but it's also, a detail in the design of the item that has since changed. So with that long tangent, let's get into looking at the interior regarding those scratches that I had mentioned to you and let's see if they are as bad, but I'm hoping they're not. And you know, if it's anything like the details that kind of I flagged on the exterior, I'm guessing it's not gonna be a bad thing at all, so. Yeah, no, I see nothing. Well, no, I see them when the light hits this way, but I mean, it's inevitable. Let me show you the interior, but I mean, it's, it's clean. It's flawless. Maybe you can see right there. You see that like line and the one next to it right over there. That's what showed up on the photos that they had online and that I addressed with the woman at Fashion File. And she said, you know, it's just kind of a inevitable thing that's going to happen if you have nails and have items in there that you're reaching to get in and out. So. Overall, I am super duper pleased. Look at that beautiful Chanel. And over here, it says Chanel Paris on the button, which my camera's not focusing, but hopefully you get the idea. And then this one I believe was made in Italy. Where are you? Yes, made in Italy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera for you guys, but there you go. Can you make it out a little bit? Made in Italy, there. Yeah, overall, I am elated. I think this is going to be a keeper with the first thoughts that I'm having right now on camera. Like I said, I'm going to assess it a little further once I get off camera under different lighting. This is with the white ring light that I'm using to film right now, but obviously under yellow light, under natural light, I just wanna give it a good solid evaluation and determine whether or not it is definitively going to be a keeper for me but as it stands right now I think it is I um I love it it makes me happy with this color what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below do you like this color do you like this style this SLG have you ooh as we almost lose it on camera have you taken the time to go perhaps to your local Chanel and see this item in person because like I said they recently did start bringing it to the U.S. which is fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts but um, given those signs of wear that I personally thought existed and that I am seeing probably didn't exist. What do you guys think? Should I keep this? Should I return it? And don't say return it because you want it. <laughs> Let me know your honest truth in the um, comments below. Should I keep it? Should I return it? What do you guys think? And with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.